When it comes to this AI stock, you can make an argument for all options, but there is only one correct choice. Over the last five years, few stocks have captured as much attention from investors as NVIDIA. The company has emerged as the leader in building the infrastructure for artificial intelligence, and no other company has gained as much from AI as NVIDIA. Considering this, it's no surprise that many investors are asking whether NVIDIA stock is a buy, sell, or hold. Let's explore the arguments for each option. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. The buy case for NVIDIA. The investment case for NVIDIA revolves around the continued build-out of AI infrastructure, which is still in its early stages. Despite the high demand the company has already seen for its graphics processing units, or GPUs, there is solid evidence to support this claim. As large language models, or LLMs, become more advanced, they require increasing amounts of computing power. This power is provided by GPUs, which are essential for training these models. What's more, newer LLMs need not just more GPUs than earlier versions, but exponentially more. For example, XAI's Grok 3 model is expected to train on 100,000 GPUs, compared to the Grok 2 model, which was trained on 20,000 GPUs. Similarly, Meta Platforms has stated that its Llama 4 LLM will likely need 10 times the computing power of Llama 3, which was trained on 16,000 GPUs. Capital expenditure, CapEx, on artificial intelligence projects continues to increase, with the CEOs of both Alphabet and Meta expressing that they believe the biggest risk is underinvesting in AI. Similarly, Oracle's chief technology officer and chairman, Larry Ellison, mentioned in the company's latest earnings call that he doesn't expect spending on AI training to slow down for the next five to ten years. Based on feedback from NVIDIA's customers, it appears we are still in the early stages of building the AI infrastructure. NVIDIA has positioned itself as the leading company in the GPU market, largely due to its CUDA software, which has become the go-to program for developers learning to work with GPUs. NVIDIA has consistently led innovation in this space and is now focused on selling both chips and complete GPU servers. The company has also sped up its development cycle for new chips, moving from a two-year cycle to releasing new models every year. This accelerated pace should help NVIDIA retain its technological advantage and pricing power. Additionally, NVIDIA's stock is relatively affordable, trading at a forward price-to-earnings ratio of about 29, based on next year's analyst projections. Its price-to-earnings-to-growth ratio, PEG, is under 0.8, which is generally considered undervalued. For comparison, growth stocks typically have a PEG ratio above 1. The sell case for NVIDIA. NVIDIA's strong case for growth lies in the high demand for GPUs and AI infrastructure. However, once the initial excitement subsides, there is a possibility that its sales could significantly decline from current levels. The reason is that AI inference requires less computing power than AI training. If AI models reach a level of performance that is considered good enough, companies may shift their spending toward AI inference resulting in reduced demand for GPUs. Currently, companies are investing heavily to build infrastructure capable of supporting AI applications. However, for this spending to continue, these companies need to see profitable returns on their investments. NVIDIA cannot be the only beneficiary of the AI boom. Its success must extend to its customers and their customers as well. Otherwise, the pace of spending on AI could slow down dramatically. So far, major players like Microsoft and Alphabet have enjoyed significant growth in their cloud computing sectors. However, results have been more varied across software and hardware companies. While companies like Adobe and Microsoft, which are at the forefront of AI development, have experienced modest increases in AI-related sales, the growth has not been as dramatic as anticipated. Additionally, there have been early concerns about iPhone 16 sales, 
which were expected to boost Apple's performance due to the phone's integration of AI features. The hold case for NVIDIA. If you already own NVIDIA stock, there's a strong argument for simply holding on to it. In most cases, unless you've bought the stock very recently, you're likely sitting on some solid gains, which are expected to keep growing. NVIDIA still has room for potential growth, thanks to its fair valuation and the ongoing AI boom, which seems to be just getting started. With that in mind, it's important to manage your position carefully and ensure it doesn't take up too large a portion of your portfolio. However, investors would likely benefit from continuing to hold the stock. The bottom line, while there's always a risk that spending on AI infrastructure could slow, feedback and actions from NVIDIA's customers suggest this isn't something to worry about in the near future. Considering its valuation and the company's growth opportunities, I would view NVIDIA stock as a buy. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.